We're going to talk about money, and money can be a very emotional issue for a lot of people, especially for women, even though more and more are the top earners when it comes to their households. So why are they so emotionally connected to it, and they have a hard time investing? Well, Jean Chatsky is here. She's a best-selling author and the Today Show financial editor. She has this new book out. It's called Money with Women. Women with Money, sorry, I just changed the title of your book. <laughs> Thanks Women for that. with Money, the judgment-free guide to creating the joyful, less stressed, purposeful, and yes, rich life you deserve. So good to have you here. It's really welcome, nice welcome. to see We've you. We've been Thank chatting you. a little bit. So why is it that money is such an emotional thing for women? And um, you do these exercises throughout your book, which is great. It helps break things down. And you start with a look back. You need to step back, look back, and figure that out. Yeah, and you have to step back, particularly when it comes to your spending. But to understand your overall picture, you have to think about what the atmosphere was like in your house growing up and how money was treated. And it's not what you were taught. It's really what you felt. It's it's whether there was tension on payday or whether the holidays were a happy time or a sad time. And if you haven't looked at that, if you haven't dealt with it, it's really hard to change it. We also get emotional about our spending mm -hmm. and looking back can help us line our spending up with our values. So I like to suggest that people actually keep a spending diary for a good month. Just track what you're spending your money on, write it down, not so much to see where every penny is going, but then to take a backward look and say, do I feel good about that? Do I feel Did happy? Did I need that? Or, or do I regret that, right? Mm -hmm. am, I, am I happy with that purchase? Do I wish I had done something else with my money? And once you know where your values are, then you can look forward. And then you can say, okay, how do I want to use my resources? And that's the whole point. Okay, so in looking ahead, the second step here, you say check your feelings. Always be in touch with yourself. Check your feelings and look at your life. So we're talking family, work, relationships. Exactly. And making sure that the appropriate amount of your money is lining up and doing those right things for you. So you may feel like you want more time with your family. So many women have that feeling these days because yeah. we're all time starved. Well, maybe the thing to do with some of your money is to hire a housekeeper, right? Maybe the thing to do is to buy yourself a little bit more time to do something with those family members rather than buying yourself another piece of clothing. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> There's a lot of clothing you don't really need. You just keep accumulating. Exactly. All right, you talk about the third um, money story. What's the money story? Your money story is that way you grew up around money. It's that inner feeling that you've got about how money behaves in your life and whether it is a point of tension or whether it's a point of joy. We all want to get ourselves to the point where money is just a tool that we're using to build the life that we want so we can separate it from the emotion. And the story, the fact that we don't feel comfortable taking a lot of risks is for women what often gets in the way of us investing what we need to invest. Well, I want to talk about investing because you're right. This is an area that I think a lot of women are hesitant. They don't know even how to begin to invest or they feel like if they go to someone, what if they ask the stupid question, right? The stupid question. We're afraid to ask that question. How do you go about that? First of all, there are no stupid questions. I grew up as a personal finance reporter <laughs> and I've asked every question in the book multiple times. If somebody's not explaining it to you in a way that you can understand it, that is on them. That is not on you. That is not your fault. So you continue to ask until you get the information that you need. As far as investing, you know, many of us have retirement accounts. We have 401ks and IRAs. We are investors. We're just not owning it. And so acknowledging that we're actually doing just fine with that money, we've put it into an index fund, we've put it into a target date fund, one-stop shopping kind of solutions that can get us where we need to go. Where many women get stuck though is with the money that we've got just sitting in a savings account. Yes. You know, I, I asked a lot of women about that money and we've got thousands of dollars in the equivalent of a mattress where it is doing absolutely <laughs> nothing for ourselves. So do and something our with it. Invest it. Put it into the market. Open a brokerage account. Fund your 401k or your IRA or just a discretionary account. 
put it in an index fund and let it grow. Okay, I love all the advice and be sure to check out Jean's website and podcast at hermoney.com. The book is Women With Money, okay? Check it out. Thank you so much, great information. Thank you, thanks and Go for out there and invest if you can.